Well, that, those are those are fun games. I think, you know, I said <clears throat> just to the staff here just a couple minutes. That's the first time I've looked at a at a box score and seen the consistency from a quarter. You know, now that we're playing quarters, like I just felt like we never we've struggled to score at times in the game, and, and tonight we were we were efficient. I mean, we had bumps, but I thought we were efficient for greater stretches and it showed up, you know, we had a 20 point quarter, a 21, a 19 and a 14. And um, so I thought that was good. I thought defensively we, you know, our switching of, of, of the screens at the top uh, was effective. It kept their penetration um, down and you see they only shot, they're not a three point shooting team. They only took five threes. And I thought just our, our willingness to step out and and switch and keep the ball from going to the basket was was a big part of what of our success defensively. Um, so you know, and then and then the big thing I think you look at twenty four assists on thirty one baskets. So we did a good job, really good job of sharing the ball. So um, you know, I feel like the the win at Villanova was was really helpful coming into tonight. I th feel like it. You know, even though our attitude was good and we were working hard, I still think it. It helps you to win, um, and, and the crowd was good tonight, and, and uh, you know, so hopefully we can uh, continue this uh, on Sunday. Questions for the players? I guess the little players talk a little bit about the defensive effort that you guys do highlighted there. Yeah, I mean, I think um, having a short time to prepare for scout, they really did a good job of simplifying it for us and um, just giving us something we can handle. and. Uh, to our credit, we we picked up on what we were supposed to do, and uh, we executed. I think it was just an overall team effort. I mean, we had to communicate a lot. They had a lot of screens, post-ups, and then mismatches, but I think we communicated out of it when we needed to, and um, we got ourselves out of tough positions when we were in them. Uh, but overall, I think it was a really good team effort on the defense end. Against Georgetown, you probably circled that as a game where you did well defensively, but the last eight quarters, Personally, I think it's been communication the last two games. I mean, they've stressed that all season, but mostly, um, I don't know, I just think that's been an extra effort by all the players these last two games. And I mean, that helps so much on the defensive end. So I think that's what's really helped us a lot. And just being able to limit limit their transition these last couple of games has been helpful. Uh, just being able to match up. Uh, we're a much better half court team than trying to guard people in the full court, I'd say. When they when they got it back within ten in the third quarter, uh, obviously you knew that they were going to try to make a run at for you. Run that to, I guess, what was the sense when Kim called that timeout? Um, kind of just I think to regr regroup and um, I mean get focused again. We made some defensive mistakes, but we just we had to get set again on the defensive end and just look for the open player on offense and make make more passes and get a great shot. I guess I'm just using the stretch you're putting together right here. Probably he's the best of your career, but I guess from your perspective, do you feel more comfortable in a role as like a primary scorer with kind of what you guys had to do in the last few months? Um, I guess, <laughs> I don't know. I still like, I don't know. I still struggle with that. I don't know if I, feel that way or not. I don't know. I'm just playing well and not really thinking about it too much. I tend to play better when I'm not thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions for the student athletes? I guess Audrey just playing off of that, playing off of MC when you know during the stretch is obviously takes a load off you and the other team or the other Cougar players. I guess I mean, she makes it really easy to play with. Um, obviously, when she's making a lot of those jump shots, she's attracting a lot of the defense, So she and she can find the open player. So I think it just makes it easy for everyone to score on the offensive end and just gives us so many different looks.
just for the record, too, my, my staff wanted me to take Audrey out with like two minutes left in the third quarter and give her a break. And after she scored like seven points in the last two minutes, I'm like, <laughs> never listening to you guys again. <laughs> I think, you know, I just think recognition that, that, that that's what we need. And that's, I mean, she's, you know, she talked about not overthinking things, but she's a smart, she's a smart young woman. And I think she understands that, that somebody, you know, that somebody has to be that person. And, and you know, she's a junior who has, is a two-year starter and, and uh, you know, who has the ability to score I mean, her mid-range game is very good. I mean, for for somebody her size, I mean, she can pop up. She, you, I mean, how many left-handed shots? I mean, she's not Doug McDermott with her left hand, but she's she's really good at getting in there and 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 making left-handed shots in the lane and and just popping up and shooting, you know, from 12 to 16. I mean, she's and she's a capable enough three-point shooter. She's a, she's an efficient three-point shooter. She doesn't shoot as many. At, you know, percentage-wise, is a lot of our kids, but she's 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 been there too. So I think that's been, I don't know. I think she's just she's a smart, intuitive kid who feels like, okay, I have I have to do it, especially when you, you know, we've we've put more on Sid's plate defensively, you know, and you know Audrey is really really good, but she's still just a freshman, and there are going to be nights when she, you know, we're we, uh, there have been nights where we've stood around and watched her a little too much, and and so I think the the more that we, the more that she can do, you know, to make sure that we don't do, you know, stand around and watch Audrey or that we don't, um, you know, that that we're we're asking Sid to play, you know, do some things defensively and on the glass that maybe we haven't had her do. So I think that's that's that kind of recognition has been has been important. I guess. Um, trans, yeah, yeah, transition defense and, and helping in the right spots. Like I feel like, you know, they didn't mention it, but one of the things I think we've gotten better defensively in the last two games is we've, we've tried to move further to the ball and, and clog driving lanes. We've, we worked on some just really simple drills after Georgetown and just try, you know, because you do that stuff in October, but, you know, then you can't practice from November 10th to – whenever and I don't mean you can't practice but you're preparing for the next opponent and I just said after Georgetown I'm like we gotta we gotta start jumping to the pass further and because there's too many teams that are gonna drive it right down our throats and that's kind of what happened at Georgetown is we didn't we didn't give the kind of you know and St. John's is that type of team Seton Hall's a little bit that way so we've gotta we've gotta get back to moving to the pass and 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 clogging driving lanes on a at a at a different on a different level than we had been and and you know I think hopefully you know I think Georgetown was a little bit of a a, a wake up call that we you know cuz we watched some film before we moved on to Villanova and I said look we if if we don't if we don't get better in this area we're <laughs> we're going to have to keep outscoring people and that's great when we're you know, tonight, but there's going to be a lot of nights where we need to get better at that. So I think that's that's a big part of it. We weren't we weren't, you know, we weren't staying in front of the ball. And 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 again, that's not just the on ball defender. That's the the nearest defender. And and then, um, you know, the other thing was just probably transition defense. I mean, just making sure we get back and 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 because uh, they had a couple easier baskets there. Most what? Most. Yeah, I think so. I mean, <sighs> yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I feel like we're, you know, we just had a lot of people. I thought we had a lot of people play well and under control, and we made the right plays. Uh, you know, we had we had a couple sloppy turnovers against their zone in the first half. I mean, we're, they kind of, 
got us a little bit out of rhythm, but uh, um, overall, you know, I mean, to out rebound them by 12, to have 24 assists, um, and, and to hold them to the shooting percentage that we did, I thought that was that was that was good. We've got, you know, I mean, the other thing is, is you're, you know, our our kids are pretty cerebral, and just the later the later in the year that you have, you know, you just have more reference points. I feel like. So when you get to this time of year, you can talk about, hey, these guys are like this team that we played before, and think about what didn't help us have success against them or what helped us have success. And I think that's um, a big thing. Because we did, we switched a lot of screens tonight, like just like we did against Seton Hall. And we kind of we kind of just said, let's, let's try it, and it worked. Um, so, like I said, well, you just have more reference points, and, and maybe there's more buy-in because they've seen it, they've seen it and felt it work in an earlier game. Yeah, and even even defensively, I trust her more. She, you know, we, we the other night against Villanova, we had Sid on on their their all Coyer, their all conference point guard, and she she drove Sid to the basket twice. Sid fouled her twice in a row, and you know now I got to give my assistants credit, but they, you know, they they said let's switch MC onto her um, after that, and and MC made her settle for a really tough shot, kept her in front of her. So I think she defensively she's. You know, and that's a, I mean, she's not the quickest kid, but it's, a, it's about competing. It's about, you know, having confidence. You know, I think when you feel good about the way you're playing offense, you, your focus defensively a lot of times is even greater. And I think that's a big part of it. But I also think she, she's made a jump defensively. Like she's not, again, she's not the quickest kid, but, but she's smart and she competes. And um, yeah, and, and we, I mean, we have, We've really not put any plays in for her in her time at Creighton until the last week or so. And we decided to put a couple things in, partly because of how she's played and the duration with which Marissa's been gone. And um, so, you know, to her credit, she's she's earned that. Yeah. Well, I, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's – I'm still going to get on them even more because I think, you know, and, and Audrey's had a, had a great year, but, like, she's – you know, she needs to keep doing – you know, she needs to keep keep that up. I mean, because I think it's easy for freshmen when they're – you know, she had a good stat line on offense. It's easier to be a good talker. But sometimes kids get a little internal when they're struggling offensively and, and – aren't as good defensively. But yeah, I think communication is big, but I also think the other piece that she didn't mention is that we've we've stressed getting off into the driving lanes when you're one pass away and we've kept the ball we've kept we've done a better job of keeping the ball out of the paint than than we were up through, you know. Like I said, sometimes it's step forward and then you don't have practice time and you just have slippage and we'd slip there and and I think we're better we're better now, and and again, it works against a team that doesn't shoot the three well, which is, which is, you know, what we saw tonight. Yes, bottom line, how much better do you feel about this group after these two games? Than yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's weird because as long, I don't, I, you know, I think about, I think about myself, and when you lose games, you you're, I'm reflective, and I'm like, okay, I'm not. I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that. You know, I have a lot of doubt. And I think to myself, geez, I'm a lot older than they are and I've done it a lot longer. And therefore they have to have some doubt. So, you know, I mean, as much as you can be positive, you still have to win. You, they still have to see the results of winning. And I think, um, but I do think, I do think the win at Villanova the other night was significant from the standpoint that I've told people, you know, you're on the road from Saturday morning and then you play a Tuesday night game. So you've almost been on the 
rode for four four days, and I thought the focus and energy that we had was was really cool for a team that was on a three game slide. I felt like we we really acted like we wanted to be there, and I think that's in in the way our the way our schedule set up, where you're on the road for that long and you've had it a disappointing result in your first game. I think it says a lot about your team that you that you don't feel sorry for yourself or you're not like, oh God, I just can't wait to get back and sleep in my own bed. And I felt like our our focus and our want to win was pretty great and and you know, you expect you expect more when you're at home and you have a good crowd and and you have a win behind you. But I think the one the Tuesday one was not that today wasn't big. They're all they're all one win, but I think that said more about our team maybe um, in terms of just our toughness and our 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 fight. Well, I know we didn't get to the free throw line a lot, so I'm guessing we'll shoot a lot of jump shots again. <laughs> I think, you know, I never, you know, they took that foul at the end of the half. Um, that was their first foul, so they, you know, and I, I'm, but that's just how much of a jump shooting team that we are is that we went, we went 19 and 15, 19 minutes and 50 seconds without drawing a foul. <laughs> so, you know, but we, we have to screen well and we have to catch the ball with our knees bent and, and move, we have to move well, screen well and move the ball. And if we do that, we'll get, we'll get shots because I think that's what we do. I think that's what we do well, but we're definitely, a, you know, a jump shooting team. Um, so, um, you know, but they are, they, they do have a, they do have some, some length. I mean, they, they play, I mean, they're, they're, their two bigs are pretty long. Um, but so we'll see. I mean, you know, the nice thing is, is we've, <clears throat> you know, even though we didn't get the foul line, we made 23 two point baskets. That's a lot for us. So. And, and the thing is, when, when, teams, when teams defend you at the three-point line the way teams are going to defend us, you're going to have basket cut opportunity. The, the basket opens up because you, they're stretched out to, to defend the three. And especially like when we go small, like, you know, we went small at the end of the third quarter tonight, and that's when Audrey went on her, on her binge was when we went small and played her at the five because your floor spacing is, is what it is. And, she, you know, if she can get a layup or – and and one, those are those are big, and not just Audrey, but anybody. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.